Thanks for tuning in on Brock Page, and if you want to save yourself some time, check out my picks for this video in the description section below. Once again, <laughs> I'm not a sports betting expert, I'm just a fan. I hit my two-teamer last night with Cleveland and Indiana winning outright. That said, let's get into some picks for the 28th. LA Clippers at Golden State. The betting opened up with Golden State as the 14-point favorite. Since it opened up, the spread itself has dropped down to Golden State minus 12 and a half. The total points opened up at 226 and a half. Apparently that was too high for the betters. It's now at 224 and a half and dropping. Tonight's projected scratches are David West for Golden State and of course Chris Paul for the Clippers. The spread's seemingly attractive. Let's break it down real quick. The Clippers covered the spread in their original contest with Golden State. Overall, both teams are evenly matched against the points covering 49% of their overall games, respectively. Golden State has an edge when it comes to location, covering 52% at home, with the Clippers just 39% on the road. As the underdog or pick'em, LA holds the advantage against the spread, covering a decent 55% of their games. On the other side, Golden State's covered just 48%, going into games as the favorite. Along with these numbers, both teams match up evenly against the spread in several other categories. That said, let's go ahead and take a look at the total points real quick. Once again, the line opened up at 226.5 and, and has dropped down two points. Clippers games have gone over the line in their last two games, while Golden State's games have gone under in their last six. With all those figures in mind, I'm going to bow out and disregard the massive spread, although it seems quite enticing. What I do like about this game, however, is the outright winner. I might be paying a lot of juice on the money line, but it's going to be worth it in a parlay. I'm taking the Golden State Warriors winning this one outright as the first game of my two-team parlay. Once again, Golden State wins this one outright for game one of my two-teamer. Next game I have for you on this episode, Brooklyn at Minnesota. The betting opened up with Minnesota as the 10.5 point favorite. Since it opened up, the spread itself it jumped up a full point to Minnesota minus 11 and a half. The total points opened up at an even 219. Apparently that line was too high for the betters. It's now at 217 and a half and dropping. Tonight's projected scratches, Trevor Booker, Jeremy Lin for Brooklyn. No scratches for T-Wolves. The spread seemingly attractive in this game. Let's break it down real quick. Brooklyn's covered just 47% of their games overall, but Minnesota's covered just 43% themselves. Good, the good news for Minnesota betters is that the Timberwolves have covered an astounding 100% of their games at the current spread. The bad news for Minnesota betters is that along with failing to cover in their first matchup, the T-Wolves are facing a Brooklyn team going a staggering 86% against the current spread themselves. Aside from these numbers, both teams do in fact, they match up fairly evenly in several other categories against the spread. That said, let's go ahead and take a look at the total points real quick. Once again, the line in this game opened up at an even 219 and has dropped down one and a half points. Brooklyn's gone under the line in two of their last four, while Minnesota's gone under in one of their last two. I'm not real sold on the total points and the spread. It's still pretty tight for me at 11 and a half. I'm going to bow out and disregard the total points and the spread, and I'm going to take an outright winner in this one. I think this one's worth it in a two-teamer with Cleveland. I'm taking the Minnesota Timberwolves, the Minnesota Timberwolves at home, winning this one outright as the second game of my two-team parlay. Once again, Minnesota wins this one outright for game two of my two-teamer. For tonight, Cleveland and Minnesota winning outright will complete my two-team parlay. Now, there's plenty of other action in the NBA, and although my two-teamer's all set, I'm going to add a few more picks to the show for the sake of entertainment. Next game, Memphis at Utah. Memphis is plus eight against the spread with the total points at 187. Along with going two and one against the spread versus Utah so far this season, Memphis has covered a solid 60% at the current spread. They also cover a solid 67% of the games facing teams giving up less than 99 a game. They're also a solid 64% against the spread in the second game of a back-to-back. -back. They may not win it, but I think they can keep this one close. I like Memphis plus eight against the spread in this one. Next game, Sacramento at Charlotte. Charlotte's the seven-point favorite after opening up at minus six. 
The total points jumped up to an even 209. Sacramento's covered just 12 of 26 games against teams giving up more than 102 a game. They also covered just 4 of 9 in the second game of a back-to-back. -back. On the other side, Charlotte's a decent 11-8 against the spread as the official home favorite. The numbers look okay against the spread, but I want to be sure about this one. I'm taking Charlotte winning this one outright at home for some money line cash. Once again, I like the Charlotte Hornets winning this one outright on the money line. Next game I have for you, Denver at Phoenix. The Phoenix Suns are the three-point favorites at home after opening up a pick'em contest. The total points opened up at a whopping 235 and have since then dropped a few points down to an even 232. Denver's grappled themselves quite a few wins here in the last week or so, and when it comes to the spread, they've been pretty good in several categories. Along with covering the spread in all three prior contests with Phoenix, the Denver Nuggets cover a staggering 78% of their games at the current point spread. They also cover a solid 63% of their games as the official road underdog. On the other side, Phoenix has failed to cover in four contests at the current point spread. And they've also covered just two of seven going into all games when favored. As the official home favorite, They've also covered just 33% of their games in that category. I'm really liking Denver plus the points. I like the Denver Nuggets plus three, winning this one against the spread on the road. Next and final game, Boston at Milwaukee. And this one is closer than you may think. We got ourselves a pick'em contest in Wisconsin with the total points being posted at 218 and a half. Against the spread, Boston's an impressive 70% on the road. They also cover an impressive 75% against teams winning around 45-55% to 55 of their games. They also cover a solid 60% in their second game of the back-to-back. -back. Milwaukee's numbers don't stack up uh, quite as well, uh, but they have been solid at home. That said, Boston broke a three-game skid earlier in the week with a good win against Houston. Milwaukee's been playing poorly in their last eight. I like the Boston Celtics winning this one in a pick'em contest. Once again, Boston wins in the pick'em. Well, folks, that's going to do it for me. Once again, I have to remind you that I am not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. If for some reason you do decide to use the information on this program, you're utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you're betting any of these games, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Predictions and Sports Picks, I'm Brock Page, and have yourself a positive day.